What is going on guys, it is Chris here from Annie TV, and today I'm going to take you through my first impressions of DC Universe Online. Now we are actually being able to give you guys CPM for every click that you get on your Play Now link in the UK and France. So far they're the only two countries available, so if you are actually living there, make sure you do click the link in the description below. Without any further ado, let's get into it, and as always, I hope you enjoy. So, what is DC Universe Online? Let me tell you. DC Universe Online went free to play on November 1st. And while I haven't put enough hours into the game to give it a full and fair review, I thought I'd share some of my first impressions. Before I do that though, I should note that the servers have been considerably taxed over the last few weeks, and that has led to significant downtimes. Difficulties logging in and some bugs mostly related to getting into the game rather than the direct game play bugs. I expect these problems will sort themselves out in the next few weeks as they do in every game. So if you want to give DC Universe a try, like I said there is a link in the description in the description below. And I do highly suggest from one gamer to another that you give this free to play game a try. So what is the story behind DC Universe Online? It's basically Lex Luthor united all the villains and took over the Earth. The villains won. But then that it was followed by an invasion from Brainiac and the Earth's forces were already defeated so Brainiac wins. Lex is forced to kind of go into hiding and travel back in time with nanites that turns everyone into superheroes aka the player created and transform them into superheroes or villains. <gasps> wow, mouthful. So it's basically based on your storyline and your, the story is what you make it. The gear you collect can change your character's appearance, but only if you want it to. One of the first items I got was a cape, but I rather have wings. So I locked my back appearance, so that my back piece would only affect my character's stats, not look. World of Warcraft allows you to hide certain pieces, but it doesn't give you nearly this much customization, and doesn't let you to do as nearly as much as you can with your default appearance. That's amazing for me because character customization is one of the most Sought after things in any MMO, for, in my opinion, because I want my dude to look pretty badass. That's basically it. I want to be some massive thing that destroys things. Thing like. After clearing an open dungeon and getting into the starting area, I saw dozens, if not hundreds, of other low level characters, and none of them even look the same. Not one person. This game has been out a while, and there are still tons of people playing it. It's insane. <laughs> Once you made your character, you'll be thrown into your first dungeon, and this will make or break, you know, for some players. In this game, scrolling your mouse controls your camera, while left or right of the mouse is the bread and butter kind of attacks. In order to get to the point and click, uh, you have to hit escape to open the menu, and then you can attack with your character in that mode. So I suggest leaving the stats the way they are. So if you are someone that needs to point and click interface, this game probably isn't for you, so clickers, I'm sorry. At this point, I should mention that the game is available on the PlayStation 3 as well, which I don't own, because I'm an Xbox fan. So that might be a solution for you gamers looking to get a new type of game uh, on the PC, if you already have it on your PS3, so you'll be able to transfer your data over. You'll also be able to play through with your PC, PS3 controller on your PC, which is an awesome interface. Integration! Now this game is an amazing game to check out, I do suggest um, giving it a go. I went in 30 hours of gameplay and I made my dude basically look like a flaming green lantern. I would suggest doing it guys, it is an amazing game and it has some amazing content. This has been Chris with Annie TV giving you my first impressions and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> 